Hey everyone, this video will be on the application of solution equilibrium in indigenous culture. Saika seeds are commonly used by the indigenous people to make bread as they are a very good source of carbohydrates. However, Saika seeds are toxic as they contain a toxin called cycasin. This toxin, if ingested, causes cancer and severe damage to the nervous system. The indigenous people use a process of leaching to remove the toxin before producing food from it. And this process of leaching is an application of solution equilibrium. The caveat that makes the process of leaching work is that the toxin cycasin is soluble in water. When exposed to water, cycasin dissolves in water until the reaction reaches a dynamic equilibrium. This can be represented by a simple chemical equation between cycasin solid which is the undissolved form that's still in the seed, and cycasin in the aqueous form, which is already dissolved in water. When the reaction is at an equilibrium, the rate of toxins dissolution equals to the rate of formation in the seed. This is not particularly helpful as no further amount of toxin can be removed if the water becomes saturated with the toxin. The graph on the right hand side demonstrates this idea. At the beginning, the amount of cycasin solid in the seed decreases as the amount of dissolved toxin increases. However, as the reaction reaches a dynamic equilibrium, the amount or concentration of the toxin in the seed remains constant. This is why indigenous people use running water during leaching. Using running water prevents a reaction from reaching a dynamic equilibrium as any dissolved toxin is quickly removed from the system. In other words, the equilibrium is constantly disrupted due to an open system. Ultimately, this allows more toxin to be removed from the seed, reaching a level that's safe for ingestion.